my bad, can I say that's back and right? So spring is a sprung in. So let's learn some spring words. So spring and like is guanwin. Guanwin. Now obviously there are dialectal variations in how we pronounce our vowels. So guanwin, guanwin, guanwin. More properly, it should be a guanwin. Now you'll notice a the theme with the seasons that they all have the in front of them. A guanwin, a hav, a hadrev, and a geav. But this does not cause the soft mutation that a normally does. It's not a wanwin, it's a guanwin. Now, interestingly, the etymological root for spring is also the same as dawn, guaur, guaur, and swallow, the bird, not the action. Gwenol, guenol. Now, we have a couple of holidays this time of year, the main one being spring solstice, and there's a couple of different words depending on your religious affiliations. Druids tend to refer to this as alban alier, alban Alier. Alban does look like the word for Scotland, or Alban, but that's just based off of their native word in Scottish Gaelic, which is Alba, um, and has nothing to do with that. In this word, Alban means solstice, and Alier comes from Isle, meaning second, and Ear, meaning pure, raw, or fresh. And Alier also carries the connotations of regeneration and renewal. Oh, there's also the less commonly used Alban Kintervin. Alban Kintervin, which just means spring solstice. You wouldn't use the word Kintervin for spring the season, but you do use it as spring with the holiday. And for folk practitioners like myself, we call it Kinheed Nors Aguanoin. Kinheed Nors Aguanoin. Kin before heed long Nors night, before the long night of spring. We also have May Eve and May Day. Nors Galen Mai. Nors Gallen Mai and Callen Mai. Callen Mai. And I know it's already been and gone, but I'm going to throw it in there anyway because the 1st of March is the patron saint of Wales's day, Saint David's Day. Deed Gwil Dewi. Day, holiday, David. Deed Gwil Dewi. And to wish somebody a happy Saint David's Day, you say Deed Gwil Dewi Happis. In some dialects they drop the gwil though, so deeth dewi, deeth dewi hapis are also perfectly acceptable. So now let's look at the months of spring. Now in formal Welsh you would put mis, meaning month, at the beginning of the name of each month, but in informal or spoken Welsh you can drop the mis and it's totally fine. So March is mis mawrth, mis mawrth, mawrth being the same as deeth mawrth for Tuesday, and we get mawrth from the Latin for Mars. April is mis ebrish, mis ebrish, and ebrish comes from the ancient Greek for Aphrodite or Venus. And May is probably the easiest month to remember, mis mai, mis mai. Now the etymology isn't properly known, but we assume it was borrowed from the English. So let's look at some spring words. So first up we have lamb, which is oin, oin, or can also be oin, Oin. Notice that Torbach on the W makes a long vowel sound. Oin. Now, if you're talking about lamb, the meat, you would say keeg oin. Keeg oin. Lamb meat. Keeg means meat. But you would not use oin. You would use oin. It's not keeg oin. It's keeg oin. Now, for the plural, lambs, you don't use oin. You use oin. But you drop that Torbach, so it's just oin. So, key going, oin, oin, oin. A little bit confusing. <laughs> Sheep is davad, davad, and the plural is devaid, devaid. Now, flower in Welsh has two different words. You can either say blodin, blodin, and a lot of people use this version as a pet name or a term of endearment, but you can also use the word which is the same for flower and blossom, which is blodeyan, blodeyan, or depending on the dialect, Blodion, blodion, and the plural flowers is blodai, blodai. Now meadow, dale, and valley all share the same word. Dol, dol. Again, notice that torbach, a long vowel sound. Dol. And again, for the plural, we drop the torbach, and it becomes dolath, dolath, or dolai. Dolai. So a very important flower of this time of year is the daffodil, our national flower. Now the Tembi daffodil is the specific 
daffodil, but uh, any daffodil will do this time of year. We, we love our daffs in Cymru. Literally all the daffs, so many daffs. So the daffodil actually shares the same name as the leek, which is another national symbol of the country, but it translates to Peter's leek. So you have kenhinen, kenhinen beder, kenhinen beder, notice that soft mutation of the P to a B. And then the plural is kenin peder, kenin peder. And then we'll throw in birds as well. So bird is aderin, aderin, aderin. And the plural birds is adar, adar. So I hope you enjoyed learning about Aguanoin Diochenvalian and Willie O'Pau Bueliki Kimbo here. Hoyo Valid!